We've all been moved by music. Perhaps it was a live performance. You're in a concert hall and suddenly some kind of musical experience washes over you. Perhaps you're just driving around and suddenly something comes up with the radio that you haven't heard since you were a teenager. And suddenly you're back in that moment. You're 17 years old again and you're uh, drifting around in your car with your friends and the music takes you immediately back there. For me, some of the most memorable musical experiences involved settings of Psalm 51, the Miserere. I was in King's College Chapel with my wife when we lived in Cambridge, and we had gone to hear uh, the Catalyst scholars sing Spemidale, which is a 40-part motet. I had never heard Allegri's uh, setting of the Miserere before, but uh, that was on the that was on the concert bill, and uh, it came over me as a surprise. Anything sounds great in King's College Chapel, but suddenly I had this soprano going up to um, celestial heights coming from behind me, and uh, every time I hear that music. I'm back in King's College Chapel listening to that music. A number of years ago, we had a course on music here at Theopolis, and Ken Myers spoke on music, and he played a, a version of the Miserere by James McMillan, a contemporary Scottish composer, and it had the same kind of effect on me. There was a moment in that when the voices just transcend and uh, grip my soul. There are other pieces of music that, uh, gr that uh, grab me every time I hear, hear them, no matter how many times I hear them. Uh, Prokofiev's third piano concerto in the third movement, uh, just when you think it can't get more intense or faster or more uh, compelling, it does. Or the second movement of uh, The Tempest, Bach's 17th uh, piano sonata, uh, which is, uh, slows the pace way down after the tempestuous first movement, slows it down and it gently, quietly opens up uh, new worlds uh, in the course of that second movement. We all been, have been, had experience like that, but what is it that moves us? Why is it that music so moves our souls that can grab us uh, from the inside and, and transport us to another time and place? Music glorifies everything, it glorifies space. When we have a party, we want music on, so we want the space to feel, feel festive. It glorifies our words. It can glorify our mood. It can elevate our mood or the wrong kind of music or the music that uh, we want to make us sad can make us sad. It comes over our souls and grips us. And I think music is a great example, a great illustration of how beauty, uh, the ob objectivity of beauty. Uh, beauty is sometimes thought of as a kind of projection of human desire out onto the world. But the fact that we can be surprised, the fact that beauty can overtake us and grip us from the outside, means that beauty is an objective reality out in the world. But why is it that music and beauty grip us in the way that they do? Uh, in this series of videos, I want to give a theological answer to that question, which I'll begin to give in the next video.